It's 6.04. In just a few hours, Pinellas Suncoast Coast Transit Authority is hosting its first ever Community Resource Summit, and you are invited out there. A lot of talk about this. PSTA took a look at rising costs, realizing it's something the county desperately needs, too. This morning, 10 Tampa Bay reporter Andrea Lyon live for us at the Center for Health Equity, where that event will be taking place. Good morning to you, Andrea. Hey, good morning, Frank and Caitlin. Yeah, living expenses are expensive, and we have uh, reported time and time again that Tampa and St. Pete has some of the highest expenses across the country, especially when it comes to rent. All of that keeps going up, and that's exactly why Pete's PSTA is pulling county resources together to help people out. Resources, we're talking about uh, food banks, housing, uh, career assistance, after school care, all things like that will be coming together at nine o'clock this morning. There will also be a panel to discuss ways to improve the overall quality of life for residents here in Pinellas. On top of that, PSTA is also offering free haircuts for those who come and also uh, a little incentive here for the first 100 people to show up a free one day bus pass. So I asked Suncoast Transit why they think this event is so important. At the end of the day, transit connects everyone to all of these different places, whether it be you need help with housing or if you need help just getting assistance paying your current bills or anything like that. So transit connects everyone together. Again, this event starts at 9 o'clock, runs through 1 p.m. here at the Center for Health Equity in St. Pete. Ahead in just a half hour, we break down just how expensive St. Pete in the Pinellas area has become over the last several years. Live in St. Pete, Andre Lyon, 10 Tampa Bay.